Greetings, human life forms. I'm the Meister, and welcome back to another prediction video. Last video, we did the New York Giants. Um, if you want to see the record I had for them going, uh, you can watch the last video. I'll put a... Well, you can just go into my channel and, you know, watch the video uh, from there. But yeah, today, um, you guys already know who I am predicting today. But... Yeah, spin the wheel first, because I don't know who I'm predicting yet. So we're going to spin this wheel, and we're going to see who we're getting. As today, we're going to get the LA Rams. All right. So, we'll go right over to the Rams here. Um, I still have the giant stuff in here, so. We're going to hear, as you see, they already have a loss here. We're just going to. We'll talk about that later uh, as we get there. But Los Angeles Rams, a very interesting offseason for them. Um, last year, there's a lot of high expectations. Again, obviously, defending Super Bowl champions, they're expected to go pretty deep in the playoffs again uh, this past season. Obviously, that didn't happen. Um, they started off a little shaky, uh, definitely shaky, uh, losing to the Bills, getting blown out opening day. Opening day. Trying to find their rhythm, but as they're trying to find their rhythm, they lost a lot of key players due to injuries. Offensive line was just in shambles all season. They couldn't really get anything going all year round. Just an unfortunate season for the Rams. And now the cap definitely caught up to them this past offseason. They had to release a buttload of players. And now they're left with a very minimal star group of players. They still got Matthew Stafford. They still got Cooper Cup. They still got Aaron Donald, the big three pillars. Still in L.A., but other than that, they are lacking in a lot of key areas. So we'll see how they do this season. We'll see. But um, we're going to get right into it here as we are at week one here at Seattle against the Seahawks. Week one, a divisional opponent uh, on the road. Um, Seattle had a very surprising year last year. Made it all the way to the playoffs. Nobody saw that coming. Um the young guys in defense that they drafted played exceptionally well last year. Um, people are expecting them to play even better this year. Um, offense was surprisingly really good, too. Geno Smith was a surprisingly amazing last year. Surprised a lot of people. They made the playoffs mainly because of him. Um, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. And now they added Jackson Smith and Jigba to that receiving core, which is pretty lethal and they still got Kenneth Walker who again another rookie that surprised a lot of people played really well up until I think he got injured near the end of the last season there but yeah big game here week one for both teams um on the road in Seattle fans are gonna be crazy I'm gonna give the win here to Seattle week one I think it's a tough draw for the Rams here week one uh, you know, trying to get back into the rhythm of things. Um, Seattle's a tough team. Uh, I think Seattle will beat them there week one. As we move on here to week two, hosting the San Francisco 49ers, the one team that has been plaguing this team forever uh, up until that Super Bowl run they had, but they still had troubles against them in the regular season last year. Niners have them in the regular season, man. That defense, especially for the 49ers, is still top-notch in the league. It is incredible. Uh, they did lose their defensive coordinator, but I think this defense is still going to be outstanding. They have too much talent to not be great again this season, unless, of course, like injuries or stuff like that happens. Um, offensively, um, there's a quarterback question mark. We don't know what's going to be happening there. Um, uh, it sounds like Brock Purdy will be healthy to start the season, but will he start is the question. I think, personally, he will start uh, if he's healthy to start the season. And then, of course, you still got Trey Lance there, which there's been rumors that he might be traded, which is kind of crazy. And then Sam Darnold is still on that roster, too. So we'll see who the Niners want to start a quarterback. Again, I think it's going to be Brock Purdy. But when Brock Purdy was in there last year, he was able to operate that offense. That offense has so much talent, just like that defense. And all they needed was a quarterback to, you know, really work that offense. And Brock Purdy was just that. He was managing that offense perfectly to perfection. Um, he's doing it really well, and if he is healthy to start, which I think he will be, start the season, I think the Niners are going to be a tough team all season round, and I think the Niners are going to get the Rams here yet again here uh, in week two. Um, 
you know, this is kind of throwing me off. I'm just going to get rid of that real quick. Um, all right. I think that's just reg another regular time game, I think. Yeah, 4 o'clock game. Uh, week 3, Monday Night Football in Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. It is a Super Bowl 56 rematch against Cincinnati in Joe Burrow. That offense is going to be incredible again this year. I mean, they just, there's no reason they won't be. I mean, Joe Burrow, he's the top quarterback in the league. Uh, the receiving core is still amazing. They got Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd. They still have that amazing trio. Uh, they still have Joe Mixon, who took a little bit of a down year last year, and he has a lot of legal stuff uh, I've heard going on this offseason. So I, I think he's still going to be starting. I haven't heard much of that uh, recently. But, yeah, I'm expecting Mixon to be ready to start this season. Um, offensive line even got better, too, getting Orlando Brown Jr. from the Kansas City Chiefs. So that offense is going to be really good this year. Um, the defense, I'm not sure if the defense is going to be as good as it was last year. They lost both their starting safeties to free agency. Uh, Jesse Bates to the Falcons. And they lost their other guy, Von Bell. Um, I forgot where he went. It'll come to me, though. Um, but yeah, they lost both their starting safeties. So I'm not sure if I like the defense as much as I did last year. So... Their defense kind of concerns me a little bit, which could leave Cooper Cup getting some catches in, in this game. But, uh, again, another tough opponent here. Three playoff teams in a row. I see the Rams falling yet again. This time the Cincinnati Bengals. Just a tough schedule to open up the year. The Seahawks playoff team, Niners playoff team, Bengals playoff team. Both those Niners and Bengals are both in championship games, too, so... Really tough, really tough way to open the season here. But week four here at Indianapolis, 1 p.m. game, take on the Colts. Um, Colts, I think clearly in many people's eyes, are a rebuilding team. They drafted Anthony Richardson in the draft um, to, you know, really start building around him here. They still got Jonathan Taylor running back, who definitely had a down year last year. So we'll see if he can get back to his prime form that he had a couple years back and see if he can get back to – the back that he was. Um, as for receivers go, the Colts don't really have any notable receivers. They still got Michael Pittman over there, I guess. But, you know, he didn't really do anything too crazy last year. So Richardson might struggle a little bit early here, um, especially if he's starting over Gardner Minshew, which I think many people think that will be the case. Um, and defensively, they still got a couple guys over there. They still got Kenny Moore. They still got Shaquille Leonard over there. They still got... Uh, Number 99 to force Buckner over there as well. So uh, this defense will be a little bit tough. Will be a little tough over there in Indy. Um, new coaching staff too, obviously. So there's going to be some obvious growing pains there. But uh, I think this is where the Rams will get their first win of the season, Week Four. Um, Rams kind of know who they are. They have their core pieces, and they know how good they can play. Uh, the Colts, they do have a couple core pieces for now, I guess. But they're still undecided on if they will be those core pieces like Anthony Richardson. So I think Aaron Donald will be, will be able to get to Richardson this game. I think uh, this will finally be a game where Stafford can at least manage a game and, you know, get some uh, get some throws in, maybe get a touchdown or two this game. I think the Rams will get the win here against the Colts. Finally in week four, um, as we go over here now to week five, hosting the Philadelphia Eagles, 4 o'clock game here on Sunday. This is another tough game. The Eagles uh, won the NFC last year, so the Eagles are a great team. They're a great team on offense. They did lose Miles Sanders uh, on offense to the Carolina Panthers, but got DeAndre Swift in a trade with the Lions. So I think that offense is still going to be electric with Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith. That is just going to be an insane offense, and they still got Dallas Goddard over there also. That's going to be a tough team. And defensively, I thought in free agency before the draft, I think they definitely got a little bit worse. They did lose a lot of guys in defense. But they also replenished very well in the draft. So this team might not even take a step back. This team just is so loaded in every position possible, just like the Niners are, just like quite a few teams now in the league. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to go Eagles. Eagles are just so much more of a complete team here. It's going to be tough for me to pick against the Eagles this year. Um, but, yeah, I think the Rams are going to fall yet again here this time. To the Eagles, is you see a little bit of a trend here. They're already 1-4 and four going into Week 6. Not a great start uh, for the Rams. 
is week six here. Uh, they're going to host Cardinals in a regular Sunday game. Cardinals are another interesting team, though. They're, they're basically in rebuilding mode at this point. Kyler Murray tore his ACL like, at the very end of last season, so there's a good chance he will not be starting here week six. Um, and they still got James Conner running back, who maybe took a little bit of a step back last year. They still got DeAndre Hopkins, great wide receiver. I uh, still got Zach Ertz over there, tight end, but with no Kyler Murray to really bring that offense together, they might have some struggles there in Arizona offensively. And defensively, they did take a step back defensively last year. They didn't do much to address it this year. Um, they even lost J.J. Watt, too, to retirement. So Cardinals are going to be another team that's going to be struggling this year, which a lot of people are going to be seeing struggling this year. So... I'm going to go with the Rams getting their second win of the season. 2-4 and four record after week six. Moving right along here. Um, another 4 o'clock game here for the Rams. Hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers coming off their bye. Steelers always have a great defense with Mike Tomlin. They probably always will. They still got TJ Watt, who really just seems to bring that whole entire team together. He is just that it factor over there in Pittsburgh. Um, and now they got Patrick Peterson to bring with Levi Wallace for a pretty good uh, cornerback duo. They got um, Mike, Minka Fitzpatrick from Dolphins. Obviously, he's still there uh, in Pittsburgh. Um, offensively, uh, I think there will be a little bit some more grumbling pains. Can he pick it entering his second year? But he's got some guys to throw to. Uh, Allen Robinson, revenge game, anyone, for this one. Um, yeah. Pickett's got some receivers to throw to. He's got a tight end to throw to. Um, I mean, he's got playmakers in the team, and he still has an G. Harris who took a step back last year. We'll see if he could bounce back a little bit this year. But I think the Steelers are going to be a very solid team this year. They seem to have their pieces together. They just need to grow. Uh, I think this team could be a pretty good team, pretty tough out here in this season. Uh, coming off the bye, too, just another tough game because you don't want to – when you look at the Rams, I don't know if you want to necessarily look at them as a team that's going to lose too many games this year. Or, I mean, at least be middle of a crowd kind of here. But, I mean, this is just another tough game against the Steelers. But the Steelers do have to make that cross-country trip here. So this might be a little bit of an upset game. It's a tight game. You can pick whoever you want for this game. But I, th I think I'm going to go – Rams here. I think the Rams are going to get a big win here against the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. Much needed. Um, I will go with the, the Rams here over the Steelers week 7. As we move on to week 8 here, going into Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Big, 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 big game at 1 o'clock. Um, Dallas, I think, is one of the most complete teams in the entire NFL. They had a terrific defense last year, and they got even better getting Stephon Gilmore from the Indianapolis Colts to pair him, to pair him up with Trevon Diggs. That's just going to be a great, great, great defense. And on offense, uh, that offense I think will be great too. That offense was pretty good last year with Dak Prescott at the helm. And now they got Tony Pollard, who we know now for sure is going to be that lead back um, over there. And... Yeah, they got Brandon Cooks from the Houston Texans, too. I mean, that team is just loaded over there in Dallas. Uh, it's hard going to be hard to pick against Dallas in that game. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go Dallas there in that game. Week 9, in Green Bay to take on the Packers, another 1 p.m. game. Um, Packers defense, we'll start their defense here. I'm not too sure how that defense is going to be. I mean, they got some players over there, but... I don't know if it's going to be top 10 or not. I don't know if it's that great. Um, but, yeah, it, it is, it's an okay defense. It's your average NFL defense over there, um, which might be a little bit of an insult. I apologize, Packers fans. But offensively, it's a little interesting here. They're kind of the opposite of the Rams here. Jordan Love doesn't really have many people to throw to over there. But they got a great running game over there in Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. So, uh, this is a very tough game to predict. This game is another game that, you know, could go either way here. Um, Packers got the running game 
Rams don't. Uh, Packers don't really have the receivers there besides Christian Watson. Rams do. They got Cooper Cup and Tyler Higby. Um, defensively, they got Aaron Donald. Packers don't have Aaron Donald. Um, very tough game here. Uh, very tough to predict. I, I think I'm going to go Rams here, week nine. I think I think I might go Rams. Another tough game. Um, I, you could easily go Packers. You could easily go Packers. I could very well, when week nine rolls around, I could very well pick the Packers to win this game because it, teams change very quickly throughout the course of a season. So... I think the Packers, or not the Packers. Well, I do think the Packers are going to lose here. I think they're going to lose to the Rams. Very tight game to predict. Having their bye week 10. Nice time to look, nice time to really have a bye and refocus here. As coming off the bye, they will host the Seattle Seahawks. Again, another tough game here. A division rival. Uh, we already talked about the Seahawks here. Except it's at home a little bit later through the season. Um, I I just feel like the Seahawks are going to have more of that chemistry this year, you know. I think they have more of that chemistry. I think they are a little level up here from the Rams. Um, maybe this point in the season, too, as well. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. Sweeping the L.A. Rams. Rams fall into 4-6 and six here. Rams trying to stay in the mix. As they will get the Cardinals here again, which they probably will maybe have Kyler Murray back at this point. But even if they do, he's still going to have to slowly work his way into the offense here. So it's another tough – it's a tough situation for the Cardinals, man. It really is. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to go Rams. I think the Rams are going to sweep the Cardinals here this season, get back – quickly get back on track here, beating the Cardinals. And then big game here, afternoon game, hosting the Cleveland Browns. Really big game. Really, really big game. Um, Browns don't really have too many playmakers in defense, but they did get Zadarius Smith from the Minnesota Vikings, pairing him up with Miles Garrett, which I think will be a pretty darn good rushing duo, if you ask me. And offensively, it's a toss-up whether that offense is going to be good or not. If Deshaun Watson can get back to form uh, like how he did in like 2020, that offense is going to be so good. They got Amari Cooper. They got Elijah Moore. They got Donovan Peoples Jones. I mean, that offense is <laughs> that offense might be really good, and they still got David Njoku and Nick Chubb, arguably the best running back in the National Football League. Ooh, very tough game. Very very tough game. Nick Chubb versus Aaron Donald too. So that will be a tough. That'll be an interesting matchup there. But I think I'm gonna go Browns. I think I'm gonna go Browns. Um, I think they just got a couple more playmakers than the Rams do, and it's later in the season, too, for those playoff push teams. So, yeah, I see the Rams falling here to the Browns. Week 10 in Baltimore, another AFC North matchup. Uh, in Baltimore to take on the Ravens here, another 1 p.m. game. Ravens coming off their bye. I think the Ravens are going to be a very good team this year. Their defense is always solid. I think it will continue to be solid again this year. Um, offensively, I think it's going to be much better. They're always a great rushing team. And now they add Odell Beckham Jr. to that mix of receivers, if he can stay healthy. And, and plus, another revenge game here. So, Odell Beckham could have a big game here. But, yeah, I'm going to go Ravens here, if they can stay healthy. If they can stay healthy, which is a big if, because they get injured almost every single season, um, unfortunately. But if the Ravens can stay healthy... I think they'll be able to take care of business here against the Rams, um, which is, again, unfortunate for the Rams. Rams are kind of slipping down the standings here a little bit. 5-8 and eight now. Um, is they going to host the Washington Commanders here Sunday at 4 o'clock? Um, seems like Sam Howell or Jacoby Brissett will be starting. Not really clear on who's going to be starting. It might be Sam Howell, but if he doesn't turn out to be good, it might be Jacoby Brissett. Our injuries happen. So many unknowns. Uh, but... What is known is Terry McLaurin is great, and he'll continue to be great this season. Um, defense, not really too many notable players over there. Yeah, Washington's in a very interesting situation. Nobody really knows what to make of them, really. 
kind of average, maybe below average kind of team over there. But yeah, I'm going to go Rams uh, at home. The game to kind of try to get back into the fight here, falling down the standings over here. Is now on Thursday Night Football. Big rivalry game here uh, against the New Orleans Saints. Saints got a new quarterback, Derek Carr. He's going to be there for the Saints in a playoff pushy game right here. Huge game here on prime time. Um, running back in New Orleans is Alvin Kamara. He's had some legal issues himself going on. All these running backs have legal issues. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But, yeah, I think he'll be starting this season. Um, receiving core, Michael Thomas, if he can stay healthy. Um, Chris Olave, that, that'll be a scary duo over there, you think. Um, so it could be a very tough team over there. Um, offensively, defensively, they always are pretty solid on defense. I think they'll continue to be pretty solid here on defense. Um, very tough game here. Very tough game uh, to predict. Because mm. the Rams are kind of that middle of the pack kind of team, you know? So it's very tough. But obviously, you can tell the Saints are making a push here this season. As the Rams are just trying to stay competitive or recovering from their cap. <laughs> their cap issues over there so very 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 tough game to pick um i think i think i'm gonna go saints here i think the saints will get the win against the rams unfortunately for rams fans six and nine pretty nice record if you ask me but we're gonna move on here you guys already saw who i'm picking to win this game uh new york giants in my Giants prediction video, um, I, I, I was saying the Giants are a very good team. They didn't really make too many acquisitions in the offseason, but they kept their core players together, which is most important. Um, but I don't know if there's going to be any real increase of play from the Giants this year. There may or may not be. Um, I think the Giants are going to stay relatively around the same skill level um, as they were last year. And... The Giants are in a different situation than the Rams are, which is one of the main reasons why I picked the Giants to win, is because the Giants are trying to stay as competitive as they can in their division, as it doesn't seem like the Rams are really doing much to stay competitive in theirs, which is why I picked the Giants to win here, especially late in the season. Giants will probably need it a lot more than the Rams do here. And then Week 18, to end the season in San Francisco against the 49ers, Really tough game here for the Rams. Uh, I'm going to go with the Niners here yet again. I think the, they'll be swept by the Niners. Niners, no, they know how to beat the Rams. They know how to beat them. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go Niners there. Is That is my prediction. I'm predicting the Rams. May not like a Rams fans, but a 6-11 and record right there. Um... Yeah, very tough schedule. Rams are a very tough team to predict. They released a lot of players due to cap uh, issues over there. So very, very, very difficult to predict the Rams here this season. Um, I hope the Rams can do good. I hope they can, but I don't know if it's necessarily going to happen here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this prediction video. Um, let me know what your predictions are for the Rams down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you like what I do on my channel, please subscribe. I'll be doing the rest of the 30 teams that I haven't done yet in the future whenever I can get to it. Um, all of them will be done before preseason begins. I can guarantee you that. Um, and then we'll do weekly predictions throughout the season, which I've been doing every year. And I'll continue to do uh, as best as I can. And, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you when I get around to making the next video. Happy Friday. And as I say, life forms, out.